Hello there. You're looking at a box. I'm really quite excited to take a look inside. This is Colossal Crate. It's a UK-based geek subscription box, and it's brand new to me. I've not had one of these boxes before, which is one of the great excitements about it. You can see quite a, a good weight to this box here. Uh, I can't tell you all that much about it, because I think this box probably been around for a few months, but... I've clearly missed all the build-up to it. There's such a lot of boxes now available in the UK. A lot of small ones. I'm trying my best to get reviews of all of them up on geeksubscriptionbox.com. If you're a box producer and I've missed you, please let me know so that I can take a look. But, as I say, a good bit of weight to it. Incredibly well packaged. Now taking quite a lot of cutting to get inside. I've not looked inside yet. Uh, only downside of this one, really, was delivered by one of those awful couriers rather than through Royal Mail. But hopefully that's something that Colossal Crate can look into for the future. Just just makes it really difficult for people who are at work to get hold of the boxes. But there we go. So the theme for this one is aliens. So there's all sorts of possibilities. So let's just take a first look inside this brand new to me box. And start off traditionally with a t-shirt, as many boxes have. Very nicely folded. Let's just, um, it's a, clearly a Gildan make. Decent t-shirt brand. So what have we got? The, the claw. Probably get a little bit more outside. There's not really much to show you um, really at either side. So what does it say at the top? Choosing who will go and who will stay. So so the claw is probably a take off of a, a film or a TV catchphrase. I can't quite place it at the moment. But black t-shirt, nice white print on there. Always works well for me. And so it's a great start to the box. And there's plenty more items inside. So let's follow up with, um, let's look at this, these scalers. Uh, I've had some scalers before, but this one looks rather big compared to many of them. These are these uh, scalers, you sort of hang them off cables and things like that, but Xenomorph here, uh, from the Aliens film franchise, I believe, or a then looks um, rather bigger than the other ones I've seen, so it'll be interesting quite how that one fits. So suggestion is to hang um, this one on a bag, or perhaps on chandeliers, yeah, well, we all have those lying around. Typical geek box buyers, I'm sure. But yeah, quite nice, well-made figure. Interesting one there, so put him to one side. And we've got another alien one here that presumably goes, um, well, certainly with the theme alien there. So uh, another Nika one, body knockers, solar powered, powered by the sun. No batteries, expose it to light for hours of fun. So not sure quite how he works or how this one works. Presumably the solar panel is at the top of the head there. And what does it say at the back? Yep. So sunlight or lamp light. Press the button on the side and this will hypnotically rock side to side. So very different anyway, so certainly interested in that one. We've got this other wrapped items. What have we got next? Another Aliens one. So clearly the theme then is very much devoted around the film. So um, a Mini Mates. I think it looks like a very small alien. Whether you can quite see inside there. I'm having difficulty. So it's even worse on the camera. But these different ones you can collect. I don't think we have any way of knowing which one is wrapped in there from that. Oh we do. It's, this is Alien Warrior. Um, it is sealed at the top so I can't show you inside. But it's that top one there. May just be able to focus in a bit more. But a bit more information, of course, on the review that will be up on geeksubscriptionbox.com with more about these items. So four items so far, and now we go on to the ones particularly difficult to wrap items, as um, as well as a card, about confidential card, March 24th, 2188, presumably that's when the Alien films were, were set, and... Uh, not much information about the items here either, apart from to say the April theme is going to be fantasy. And there's a choice of themes you can vote for for May, which is quite an interesting one. So uh, I think that was one of the interesting things, yes, thinking about, about Colossal Crates. More than one possible of a box that you can choose. So top secret item. Let's have a go at getting inside here. May not be the easiest thing, depending how well sealed it is. It's always such a shame to rip open such interesting and well thought out packaging. Because somebody's clearly put quite a bit of time into this one. So, well, there we go, ripped through the label. So, what's our top secret item here? 
Uh, looks like it could be some sunglasses. And there we go, some sunglasses, which way are presumably that way. Um, I guess these are reminiscent of Alien in some form. Can't quite place it, they won't get used unfortunately. Let's go that way up, perhaps, yes, that looks much more like a, a typical Alien type look for sunglasses. Look very nice, I probably won't use them unfortunately because I wear prescription glasses, but okay, something um, interesting there but probably of limited use to many people. And uh, one more classified item, it's a bit like a present, so let's feel around and try and work out what it is. It's sort of, sort of almost cloth-like inside, so it may be clothing or it may be well wrapped. So let's just see if we can get inside the, the classified here. Um, it's going to be equally difficult. Um, not great for uh, unboxing videos, despite the extra bit of entertainment when you don't see all the items inside at once. So, let me just slightly rip it out. Apologies for putting the camera um, just down for a second. There. And there we go. Just about nice to get inside so we can see as we unwrap together. Something um, flattable, is that? Flattable. So, right, well that was an ordeal, but there we go. Oh, inflatables even. There. So what do you know about the inflatables is an alien? It's green and it's going to be 64 centimeters. Presumably when it's inflated it's going to look something like that. So, um, yeah, a bit different. Something you haven't had in a box or I haven't had an inflatable alien or I think an inflatable anything in a geek box before. So, that is it then. So we've managed to get inside all the items of a, well, slightly, I'd say, rough and ready box, even though there's clearly been some thought put into it. So, Colossal Crate, March 2016. No information card, unfortunately, but I'll figure out the items for the review at geeksubscriptionbox.com. But we do have a decent t-shirt. I don't know if it's a, an exclusive or not, but it's quite a nice one. Got um, three different types of figures, of uh, different types. One's a scaler. Uh, one solar powered, which is really exciting, and an alien, some uh, alien like glasses, and an inflatable alien. So that was the aliens box from Colossal Crate. Find out more at geeksubscriptionbox.com. And thanks as always for joining me for this unboxing video.